The following is a presentation of TFNN. The TFNN Bull Bear Trading Hour. Every trading day, live at 10 a.m. Eastern. Call now, toll free at 877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. The TFNN Bull Bear Trading Hour. Now, Tom and Tommy O'Brien. Welcome, folks. Appreciate you growling and prowling with us out here. We have the Dow Industrials down 32, Nasdaq's up 4, S&P's up flat, gold's up 390, trading at 1468. We got silver up five cents, sixteen dollars sixty nine cents a now an ounce. Light sweet crude flat, fifty nine dollars even. And notes and bonds. You got the ten year down five ticks, trading one twenty eight twenty five. The thirty year off ten at one fifty seven twenty two. And you know, depending whether you're bullish or bearish, folks, that's exactly what you needed if you happen to be a bull out here. Because yesterday we went up on light volume. Now what you're going to be doing is testing the lows of last week, and the volume is extremely light also. So. We'll see how this uh, price holds out here. King dollar, King dollar down 97 cents, trading at uh, 97 ticks rather, trading at 97.547. Euro is at 110. Yen is out here at 108 and a half, and a pound is at 131 to one U.S. dollar. Let's go over to our man, Mr. Kevin Hinks, TD Ameritrade. Think of swim as we do every Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. And don't forget, folks, outstanding program right here every trading day, 11 to 12 Eastern Standard Time. You want to understand the option market, the the uh, option strategies, bottom line, great program, futures, all of the above. Our man, Mr. Kevin Hinks, he just got off the plane from Beijing. He's going to tell us whether <laughs> we're going to have a, a TAF on, on uh, Sunday or not. Only Let's kidding. hear it. Only kidding, folks. Of course. <laughs> but, hey, Kevin, this, this, this TAF issue, man, it's like if, we, if any of us knew whether this is going to go on or off, man, it would be pretty cool, huh? <laughs> Good morning, Tom. Good morning, Tommy. You know, this is, this is a day where there's almost too much information. There's so many cross currents going into this market that you're looking at, as I look at the E-minis right now, yeah. they are unchanged. I know. I and know. ticking down a quarter to unchanged. I don't think this market knows what it wants to do today. It's got the U.S.-China trade tariff. That number hit about 827 year time, about 727 Chicago. You saw the spike in E-minis when that happened. Yeah. They tried to sell them when the market opened. You've got good numbers out of NFIB. Productivity and cost, Red Book, all good numbers. You got a USMCA that looks like they just agreed on that. Uh, so there's a lot of good things, but they're going to impeach the president today. Let's face it. Oof. They announced later this week or early next week that they'll vote out of this uh, out of their committee. There's a lot of cross currents here. Sure. So the bottom line is, it's like it's like this is literally. The definition of if you have one foot in a bucket of scalding hot water and one foot in a bucket of freezing cold water, on average, you're comfortable. Oh, that's intense. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that, this is really what this is. No, listen, man. I, you know, I, I just walked into the studio and I said to Tommy, I says, you know, this is amazing that you get an impeachment of a president, but the market shakes it up. I think the market's more concerned about the tariffs than anything sure. else. You know what I mean? Oh, U.S.-China trade is... Yeah. is massive yeah. if they get something closer and the fact that they delayed these tariffs on the yeah. 15th now it appears that, that that they have um that you know i think the market was kind of expecting it but they're also worried about it as well right i thought oh, that, yeah. that would have been tricky for the market on the 15th oh so, listen i i think if the taps go in i think it'd be serious business i mean yeah. the, the right. way that apple's trading and a couple of these others that would get hit pretty bad it doesn't look to me like i mean if that no, would, let alone the S and P's, right? Within. Yeah, I mean, I think you know, if we take well, especially you know, you're in the options market. The bottom line is, it seems that the option market in general can kind of sniff that out prior to it. So I think we'd see those you know big stocks that would get oh. hit down. I and mean, at, and they we have, don't move. We have a know? chart on Apple right. up here this morning, Kevin. We're at 264 almost. You go all the way to 269 on that trade news. So they're right, right there. Right. Right. Let the S and P's. You know card. that that favors Apple. Now Apple has positioned themselves really well for whatever happens in the trade deal. Right? They've really Tim Cook. Say what you want about Tim Cook. He has positioned Apple politically and financially in a pretty good spot. 
Yeah. He seems to have Trump's ear, and even if the tariffs do go in, Apple may have been able to kind of, you know, navigate their way through them and get and get some relief. But if they don't go in, he doesn't have to worry about that, and you, you can see the action on Apple stock based on that. Trump knows there's a lot of voters out there with iPhones, man, just like there are Androids. Oh. But boy, oh boy, you start putting taxes Absolutely. on some, something like that for sure. Yeah, yeah. And, and, and I, as you said, Kevin, uh, Cook was so smart, man. I mean, he was one right. of the first ones at the White House. Even when he did it at the beginning, I said, man, is, is, do you have to basically lobby that dramatically? And the bottom line is that, yes, you do. When you have your entire supply plane <laughs> exactly. chain in China yeah. and, and you're right. doing that kind of business. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And, you know, you can have – Tim Cook, I, I applaud him and I admire him because no matter what he feels about his political beliefs, he's out there working on behalf of Apple investors and his company. Yes. And making no. his company, yeah. Yeah. you know, navigating these waters, whatever they are. He's navigating them and doing the best job for his company. So, And, you know, this administration's not – you know, they're, they're businessmen like no other administration. They understand that Apple's a massive company. It's in three of the four major indices. You hurt Apple, you're going to hurt the entire economy. Definitely. Yes, no, 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 no doubt, no doubt. Pretty wild, man. I mean, and you know, the like the the notes and bonds. You know, they came down hard last week. You know, but yeah. look at them right now. They still don't want to give it up. I mean, you, you probably heard when I was doing that update. It's like, yeah, yep, you're, you're coming down today, but now there's no juice on the way down. So it's like, okay, so what else is laying out here again? You know what I mean? You know, 184 in the 10 years still, guys, isn't going to make stocks unattractive. No. no right? I mean, sure. and this market can drift. Th these 10-year yields can drift to a two-handle as long as they do it at a moderate pace and not spike there. But tomorrow's a big day, guys. Tomorrow we're going to get a CPI number in the morning that can affect bonds. And then we'll get a Fed. We're not going to get any movement on interest rates, but we'll certainly get a press conference that may move bonds. So two big things tomorrow um, can really be, I think, the focus tomorrow will, will, will be on rates for sure. Yeah, yeah no, I, there, you, you can see that. There's no doubt. You know, it, it, it's pretty amazing over the – I just pulled up Verizon. And, you know, when you start talking rates, I mean – these phone companies that print money and they're pushing out like four, four and a half percent dividends and principally they've gone up also. So it's pretty amazing, right? right? Yeah. I mean, and you know, phones aren't going away. If anything, yeah, the phones in our houses went away a long time ago, but guess what? All that means is that we have more phones, right? Because if you have five right. people in your house, you have five phones now. Yeah. Instead of you know, one or two. It's wireless right? versus wired. Yeah. 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 Pretty, pretty. Yeah. I mean, my my landline that I have in my house, it rings. I don't answer it because yeah. it's not for me ever. And, it, and if it is, it's not anyone that's trying to get a, in touch with me, but it's there. It's spam. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> no. All right. I mean, it, it, I, I forward one of mine to my cell phone and I can tell because it's right, right, right in the office and. It will go in, and here comes another spam. Sure. You know I mean? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. But that, that's where we are. Still a big data. And I, here, the, the last thing I want to talk about with you guys is this morning's NFIB number that came in. Big jump in the NFIB up to 104.7. And here is William Dunkelberg, the, the economist. A supportive tax and regulatory environment is positive for companies what it can do the historic run may define some expectations but it has no surprise to the small business owners yeah, so a big strong nfib number i think is a really great foundation for this market folks right here 45 minutes from now kevin thanks so much have a great one a safe one we look forward to the show Thanks for having me on, guys. If you're Thanks, not Kevin. currently using the TAS Profile Scanner when looking at setting up your trading opportunities, then your arsenal is short a mighty weapon. The TAS Profile Scanner is a standalone piece of software that instantly filters over 2,500 global financial markets such as stocks, ETFs, commodity futures, and Forex. Headed by Steve Dahl, Taz understands that in today's technological world, the use of top-flight software applications and technical analysis expertise is essential to successful trading in today's market. You also gain access to the webinar that Steve Dahl and Tom O'Brien just hosted, The Best Way to Use the Taz Profile Scanner to Profit. This webinar archive is available for all subscribers immediately upon signing up. All new subscriptions also come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. 
Start your subscription by visiting the front page of TFNN.com today and you'll find the TAS Profile Scanner under the Services tab. Sign up today. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay Area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LLC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. Many of our new listeners have heard about The Tiger's Den. The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of the TFNN shows, plus see all of the charts as they happen live and have access to archives of all of those charts. You can test drive The Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days and greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets and how to make your money work for you. Details on The Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN has launched our brand new website. You can still visit us at the same TFNN.com URL, but when you do, you'll see a new and improved homepage with a much simpler navigation, whether you're watching Tiger TV live in high definition or just accessing your newsletter subscriptions. We even have new pricing in six months and yearly options. Check out the new TFNN.com now and experience all the upgrades. TFNN.com, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow is down six. Nasdaq's up 16. S&Ps are up two and a half. Uh, so AutoZone, let's see what's happening with AutoZone out here. That is trading up $98, $1,267 $1 stock. Uh, hit an all-time high today. Uh, man, this is pretty intense. $30 billion company. Not bad, man. And looks like they crushed it on their earnings. Look at this. Yeah, still earnings season. Hard to believe, but wow. it sure is, man. That is one monster move. And when you see these, hey, we'll pull up the numbers, folks. What, what blows my mind is that what we, what we haven't seen yet, well, we, Amazon has got into the auto parts business, but not like... I Obviously not them. that dramatically no, with this chart, no, man. Exactly. The price has just doubled um, in two years. Right. And when you see the, 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 the thing that's a mind blower about the... Let's pull this yeah. up is their spread this the, you know the the auto zones and the o'reilly's they they basically they have a margin well there it is 53.7 percent that's like a software margin it's hard to comprehend and that a car replacement service has a i mean everyone has like two or three cars or at least a car right <laughs> yeah i would say everyone has two or <laughs> no, three cars you know what i mean i know there's lots of cars there's that everybody lot, has and in a family families a family, families have one to two cars yeah. for sure to get around 53.7 percent spread yeah margin. i agree and it's it, the staggering that they've kept it that exact same year on year yeah. the estimate was 53.5 they beat that um i wonder how this plays in inventory plus nine percent versus two percent they're building a little inventory okay. there markets doesn't yeah. seem to worry about that at all but earnings per share, 14.30 versus last year's 13.47, and the estimates were 13.78 and just a range of 13.29 to 14.04. They come in at 14.30. And look at that. They have 6,433 locations. Okay. That's a big number, man. That's a lot of rent they're paying, man, for those that, locations. That and Amazon is, doesn't have to be paying. That is a lot um, of rent. First quarter, same store sales increased 3.4%. Yeah. Seems like a business that... Uh, is ripe. Is ripe, I yeah. would agree, for somebody to come in. 96,000 employees. Streamline take, that process, right? You take the revenue, 
Yeah, you know, this revenue wise, they've grown. Yeah, they've grown. You know, 10.2 billion in 2015. Now they're at 12.2. So that's another 2 billion. They yeah. got some solid earnings growth in there, too. Oh, so yeah. 40 to 45 to 50 to 63 bucks in earnings per share this year, fiscal year. And look at auto pots are 11.6 billion of the whole deal. Of course it is. I mean, that's that's what they do, right? And it's amazing that so they're already in the fourth, uh, f excuse me, first quarter of 2020, I believe that was 1430 yeah. that they came in. Yeah, just staggering, man. We'll see. How about Toll Brothers? Yeah, no, exactly. Let's go over to Toll Brothers. So Toll Brothers evidently didn't hit their numbers. Yep. Uh, Toll Brothers is down a dollar twenty-five. The low for the year is thirty fifty-one. The high is forty-one seventy. Let's see what this chart looks like first. Okay, so they're still consolidating. Yeah, hanging out since uh, about early September in that yeah. same range, and so let's see. Quite a pullback in twenty eighteen. Now, Toll Brothers, this is a this is a high end builder. So let's see. Yeah, luxury homes serving both move up and empty nester buyers in several regions in the United States. The company builds customized single and attached homes primarily on land that it develops and improves. Toll Brothers also, also operates its own architectural. Yeah, they get everything up and down the line of what they, yeah, do, they do in do. terms of mortgage lending. There it is. That's what I wanted to look at, though. Look at that. The average price is eight hundred fifty dollars right? That's a big number, man. I mean, that's their average selling yep. price. So they're big in California. They're big in New York. They, they went into the... They, I think what they did is that they, they made a big mistake going into major cities. Okay. And bottom line, they wanted to do business like in New York. And so okay. those, those, those price goes up dramatically versus a lot of these builders, you know, you, you buy 50 acres and they're building subdivisions. Sure, you know I mean? sure. As we know in Florida, right, where right. there's plenty of land, we'll yeah. just get little communities that get built out totally. entirely. Yeah. So let's see, fourth quarter earnings per share and order growth showed upside, but first quarter guidance raised questions, one analyst talking about. For all the positive evident in fourth quarter results and accelerating demand trends in November, we suspect investors' intention will quickly refocus to the initial first quarter guidance. So what did they tell us about first quarter that is not in line? Um, so the margin is 21.3%. And that's, yeah, that's, that's, that's low because well, most of these run on 23 to 24%. They were right? looking for 235 right. That's quite a miss, 2.2% right. right off there. Um, just trying to get what that complete guidance was. Yeah, first quarter guidance looks below R and the consensus forecast. You know, the, the, it's interesting though. Look at that. The estimated orders uh, were rising twenty three percent. So that's that back. That backlog is always a good deal, man. Uh, so they they haven't whacked it actually that that bad compared to what it what it could be, right? Do you know what I mean? A, yeah. Block twenty five is not, yeah. You know. Yeah. Okay, we'll dig into it more, but they're down this morning for sure. Let me go to the Lennar and see what's happening with Lennar. So Lenar right now, it's down 30 for 30 cents. No big deal. Yeah, it's not not hitting that. BZH. Uh, BZH, this is a lower end builder, but it's been doing really well because of that fact. Yeah. Um, you know, the chart from highs to lows is still a mess, but the bottom line is that, you know, it basically has gone up dramatically since this eight dollar level. Oh yeah. yeah. And you're almost doubling eight eight yeah. bucks there, yeah. So the uh, some of the higher volume equities. Let's take a look, and we well, hey, we'll, we'll get into Palladium too. Palladium folks hit nineteen hundred dollars today out here. That's that's like just P A L L Palladium. Let's see, this is just like amazing, actually. Spot, should I do spot? first no. generic first. We'll get you there. I'll All right, do, active, go for it. Yeah, I'll do active. Let's see. So, well, this one says eighteen seventy three. Maybe it's the spot that got the nineteen hundred. But this is like amazing, man. This like. Look at this. And look at, remember with this downdraft, we had a downdraft, folks, in uh, November. It went from 1790, like five days later, it was at 1642, and then just shook it off. Yep. I mean, commodity business, man, is so different. You know, it, it's hard to comprehend that at one point, that commodity was worth $200. I mean, I'm going back, you know, 10, 15 years. Okay. And now 1900. Yeah. It's like, well, really? Hey. But they're willing to pay. Oh, that's it's willing to pay, and, and what is out there? Yeah, market's getting a little bit underneath it. It sure is, man. You got Apple up two dollars and forty cents on some of that trade optimism for sure, as we talked about with Kevin. But yeah, we have the S and P's up five points now. Amazon, gotta go see Amazon. Look yeah. at that. Amazon still can't get out of that funk. Yeah. So I know. it's seventeen ninety four. It's December too, coming into the holiday season, yeah. man. 
Yeah. What's that Christmas spirit? <laughs> yeah. And if we go into Apple. One more time. AAPL. Are you going to get buds for Christmas? I already have AirPods. Okay. Let's see. Yeah. Okay. I already do. Okay. I would love to get a new pair, but I don't need them. So okay. they're not, they're not. Uh, so this is laying right at highs, man. But I was right. an early adopter. And I know right. they do get talked about that maybe the battery or whatever. Mine still work relatively well, man. I use them, you know, and, I don't use how them. How many years have you had them? Forget, but pretty early on. Okay. We're talking three years, probably, right. from when they first almost. Um, and no, you know what? Two plus years, I think, is what we're pushing at least. And how much did they cost? Around? Again, maybe 150, 150 bucks. 150. No, right now they're pushing 250, which is the. So 150 is nothing for three years. Really? Yeah. 50 bucks a year, right? Yeah, yeah. I mean, if you use them a lot, which right. I do, you know. Yeah. Stay right there, folks. Tommy and I are coming right back. We have the Dow up 20, NASDAQ up 24, SPs up 6. Come right back. The TFNN Tiger Dollar Holiday Sale is back. For two weeks only, we're offering the largest bonuses of the year on all Tiger Dollar purchases. Normally, you can get a 10 to 20% bonus on your purchase, but for the Tiger Dollar Holiday Special, we've doubled the normal bonuses where you can now get up to a 20, 30, or even a 40% bonus on your Tiger Dollar purchase. Tiger Dollars can be used for all TFNN newsletters, products, or services, are fully transferable, and never expire. If you're a current TFNN newsletter subscriber, then this this is a great time to buy Tiger Dollars and apply them to all your future transactions for instant added savings. And if you're considering signing up for any TFNN newsletters, webinars, or products in 2020, then get up to a 40% bonus now before this sale ends Sunday, December 22nd. For all the details and to purchase your Tiger Dollars with up to a 40% bonus, visit the front page of TFNN.com today. The Path of Least Resistance is David White's daily trading newsletter, and if you're looking for active trading ideas, then now's a perfect time for a 30-day free trial to this powerful daily trading advisory service. David uses his years of trading experience to offer his subscribers his trading ideas each morning in his Path of Least Resistance newsletter. Using a combination of equity trades along with options, David keeps his subscribers up to date with all pertinent market information with intraday afternoon updates when warranted. Don't miss out on this great chance to get a 30-day free trial to David's daily newsletter, The Path of Least Resistance, with no obligation to pay anything. David has been delivering solid recommendations for his subscribers recently, and if you'd like to see the type of newsletter he delivers every morning, then visit the front page of TFNN, and you'll find The Path of Least Resistance under Trading Newsletters. For all the details, and to start your 30-day free trial today, log on to TFNN.com now. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Uh, we have the uh, Dow up 25, NASDAQ up 26, S&P's up 6.5. Let's go take a look at those S&P's and see uh, how close we are to the highs again. Because the way this market is, you know, just crawling up uh, slowly, you know, without real confirmation 
Sure. On Sunday, uh, it looks to me like, yeah, that high is pretty close, isn't it? 31.58, that's what I thought. That's nothing. No, right. it's 18 points. We got 18 right. points in a heartbeat when we got that initial news report talking about the delay of the tariffs. Right, right. So uh, I imagine... Yeah, another 18 points is easy. Yeah, NQs, NQZ9. So if we go look at the NQs, because the NQs got hit yesterday coming into the close pretty bad. Yeah. That's interesting. They got hit the last night, too. Look at that. Yeah, they all kind of got hit yesterday, right? You got that initial thrust yeah. higher early, early yesterday. Markets just trailed off throughout the entire trading day. You kind of got a little bit of just pessimism overnight. All the markets trading lower. And then right out of the gate at about 8.30, on that news, we kind of just jump back. Yeah, we're up 100 points. Yes. That is, that's, yep. now it was 6.30 this morning that it hit 82.97, yeah. folks, but that's still 100 points. No, and that's not like 2 in the morning, you know? A lot, no. of, a lot of traders no. are up. A lot of people are starting their day right. 6.30 in the morning. Oh, the, 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 there's, there's no doubt. Yeah. Uh, 6.30 in the morning is game. There's no yes. doubt about that. Let's go to Mark in Bedford. Mark, what's going on, brother? Oh, man, I've got... So much going on, it's ridiculous. But I'm headed to Washington tonight. So I'm sorry, what? I'm headed to Washington D.C. tonight. I see. So and what are we up to there? To you, Ken talked to you in um, on Friday about silver, and um, so we, he made five grand, and I'm going to buy physical. But I'm looking at gold right now, trying to figure out what's the next trade. Well, they have, we just got back inside um, GCG. Oh, no. yeah. Go ahead. Yeah, we just got back. In, okay, yeah. We just got back inside. I'm all confused the, with uh, our 2020 contracts. Go no, ahead. I'm with you right now. <laughs> to to buy gold with conviction, you'd I'd want to see it back inside 1477. You know. Okay. That's because we're at 1469, you know, it's up 4, 480, which isn't bad, but it's still hanging down. That, that's, this is a lower zone. That's, that's, the, that's the reality, you know what I mean? It's like a little question is going to be, you know, do we test that 1463 the way we came down on Friday? Because we came down hard on Friday, you know, so that's, that's still game. Um, you know, that's, that's kind of how I'd, I'd play it out. I mean, it looks to me like the dollar um, is going to basically give it up. But it hasn't changed trend yet. You know, I mean, the the euro is the one that you really want to watch because the, the pound definitely changed trend. The euro, though, is still hanging at, at 110. And I suspect, you know, Brexit is going to move the euro, too. You know, um, you know, it's definitely already moved the pound. You know, I'm not quite sure why the, the euro hasn't moved at all, but... That's the way that I'm kind of looking at that, Mark. Okay. Yeah. So what do you think? Friday, should I go long, gold, or short? <laughs> well, Who knows, but right? But today's only Tuesday, so <laughs> you get, you got to wait till like, Thursday night to know where you're at. Because it really... We got a lot going on until Friday. We got a Fed yeah. decision. We got a Brexit vote. Yeah. We got an impeachment. Yeah. We could be... We'll see where we ended up. You know, on a, lo yeah. on a longer-term basis, I would say that... You know, we we still have a market that wants to go high. I mean, the gold market. You know, I, I think we're at the turn of the dollar. But guess what? You know, we're still low enough out here that you don't have to just jump. You could, you know, wait for that 7 or $8 move inside of gold um, before yeah. you do it. Yeah, it's still under 1500 right yeah. now. Yeah, you know. The copper market, Mark, you want to keep your eye on that, too. Copper took off like a rocket ship. And yeah, I'm long S. CCO. Oh, good. Yeah, that's that's a beauty. That's, because what, what, what you do have happening there is that if, in fact, copper can make it over HG, let me see, it's getting close to where active contract. Okay, so you're 276. I think it's 283. You got to make it over. Um, the next, yeah, 280 is a number, but if I put this on a continuous contract, HG, active, generic, okay. We've been consolidating here for a long period of time, but I, I like, I mean, this thing had big strength last Friday. Yeah, I bought the SBCO at 30, and 
riding it. Yeah, so 279, they make it to 279, then you get 298. If we make it over 279, it's a big deal. Right now you're 275.30. And if that's what happens, if we get that, then you're going to see, my take would be that, yeah, you have China back in the market. If they're back in the market, hitting the copper market, then and then if we get the dollar starting to, to pull back, then you're going to see real action inside the commodity market in general. And, of course, you know, uh, the central banks have been buying gold hands over fist. I mean, you know, so if, if you go to the relationship of central banks, why are they buying it? If, it's, if you're a pure fundamentalist, okay, it's pretty cool. You know yeah. what I mean? It's like, okay, hold it. They run all monetary policy in the whole world. Well, guess what? They've been buying more gold than, than anything. For This is a, a first for, like, since before Nixon got off the gold standard. <laughs> You know, so that is that that is a dramatic difference, and they're doing that for some reason. You know, they're they're basically because they're they all can print money. It's like okay, you yeah, know. yeah. So, cooking, brother. Thank you. Have a great one, man. Have a safe one. Thanks, Mark. Wow, wow. There's that growl. <laughs> like it. So this thing is climbing, man. The, yeah, the, the we got the Dow positive now. Yeah. And we got the S&Ps right at that 3140 price point. When we came on the air with Kevin, right, we're seeing it completely flat. So the S&Ps have kind of crept up about five points since we've been on the air. Yeah. Let's go in that bond market. So the bond market right now, folks, is you have yesterday. <coughs> this is going to be pretty cool, man. So yesterday what we did, you went higher with lighter volume. So that was like, ah, uh, that doesn't work if you're a bull. You know, you know we had come down on Friday with 1.7 million contracts. Now, the 1.7 was coming at 2.3, so that's not bad and rejected the lower price. But then yesterday, you're going higher with a million. That doesn't work, man. That's like, okay, there's no buyers. So I would really like to see that low get tested of Friday, which uh, is 128.21. Okay. We've only hit 128.25 so far. Okay. You know, to prove that, okay, there's no more sellers down there either. Yes. Yeah. Because if it lays right here, it wouldn't be, well, it is what it is. If it lays right here and doesn't test that, then it could be building costs to try to blow that away, that low from Friday. Sure. You know, because what we did do is that we got over the high of yesterday. We're below it right now. And then it's like, okay, man, you're building costs for lower prices. So, Can we get into the Fed funds futures? We got our Fed meeting starting today. Decision tomorrow, we saw it creep in there with that big jobs number, right? Yeah. The actual probability a of a cut was in there for the first time. Will mind us in a week. So only a 0.2% chance that we will get a cut. The 99.8% chance we sit where we sit. And look at the, the hikes are gone. Remember the hikes were there? We had a small percentage on hikes. Ah, you're correct. Yeah, yeah. that's what I was looking for, correct? Yeah. Yep. Stay right there, Tom and I come right back. That's what I meant. If you're in the CD market and looking for a secure investment, the Tiger First Mortgage Program may work for you. The security for these first mortgages are building lots in the Tax Opportunity Zone in St. Petersburg, Florida. The Tax Act of 2018 set up tax-free zones across the country where you can build and hold for 10 years and pay no tax on the profits, which makes these lots valuable. The investment is anywhere from $30,000 to $75,000. The interest paid is 7% yearly paid on a monthly basis. According to Bankrate.com, the best rate for a four-year CD in the country as of February 20th is 3.1%. A $50,000 investment at a normal four-year CD rate of 3.1% would give you income of $1,550 per year or $6,200 over the four-year period. That same $50,000 investment in the Tiger First Mortgage Program would give you $3,500 per year or $14,000 over the four years. Which would you prefer, $6,200 or $14,000 of interest on your investment? If you would like more information about the Tiger First Mortgage Program, you can call me at 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. If you haven't checked out the newsletters page of TFNN.com, what are you waiting for? All of the TFNN newsletters are informative, up-to-date, affordable, and a must-have for every trader looking to gain a competitive informational edge in today's markets. TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets to offer you the very latest in market news. Plus, new subscribers get to test drive our newsletters risk-free for 30 days. From all aspects of the markets, including stocks, bonds, metals, commodities, and tech, there's a newsletter to fit your needs exclusively from TFNN. 
Stay informed each day you trade and get that competitive edge that will help you stay ahead of the game. Visit our newsletters page by going to TFNN.com and click the newsletters button near the top of the page. TFNN.com, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor for Side Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV for the latest market information. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow is up 11. Nasdaq's up 21. S&Ps are up 4.5. Now, this is really an intriguing story, folks. And I, I can see why that, uh, you know, bottom line is that they're getting so much traction. But check this out. So, streaming service taps Stephen Hawking to outdraw ESPN Plus HBO. Okay. So, let's see. So, uh, any list of the most popular online TV service begins with Netflix, Amazon, Hulu. But after that, those come an unlikely success story. Of the streaming revolution, Curiosity Stream, a service for kids and adults that devotes to subjects like science and nature. Curiosity Stream, founded by Discovery Channel creator John Hendricks. Now, right there, you know, Discovery Channel is just an amazing channel anyway. Yeah, I think a lot of people you know? are really into that, you yes. know, nature, right. Um, right. documentary, animals, right, that type of stuff. Yeah. Yeah, so they got 10 million subscribers, man, the company said Tuesday. That's more than ESPN Plus, HBO Now, CBS All Access, or the WWE app, and up from just a million last December. <sighs> yeah, so the growth office possible blueprint for the many small services pondering their fate now that Disney, Apple, Comcast, and AT&T are spending billions of dollars to compete with Netflix. So they've curiosity streams outpaced competitors by embracing a model pioneered by cable TV. Rather than trying to market the service on its own, Hendrix and CEO Clint Sinchcomb have sold it to pay TV operators who bundle it for their own video and internet customers. Pretty pretty fascinating, different yeah. business plan completely. From the beginning, I never wanted to be a niche service, Hendrick said. If you say niche service, people think of a special interest that only appeals to a small segment. And um, so they founded CuriosityStream 2015, shortly after he left Discovery. Like it's gone well so far. You yeah. know, he discovered, uh, started Discovery Channel in 1985, in the early days of cable TV. 1985, man. I think that's before ESPN, maybe even. Um, no, well, they were all whether it was ESPN, um, MTV was right in the early 80s, or oh, yeah. you know, um, Michael Jackson, MTV. Forget it. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. So let's see. Quantum physics for Curiosity Stream. Hendrix acquired the rights to thousands of episodes of T about Stephen Hawkins, the quantum physics, and Mars, and commissioned original shows about the history of food and the solar system. Pretty cool, man. Yeah. Yeah, but then it goes, right, that Stinchcomb and Hendrix soon realized their audience would be limited if they tried to take on Netflix and Amazon alone. They saw Netflix making deals with cable operators, concluded being part of a larger bundle could help them, too. Um, customers can now buy Curiosity Stream several, several ways. They can pay $2.99 a month or 20 bucks a year, for the subscription, either straight from the company or through third parties such as Amazon or T-Mobile. That's pretty cool. But um, the largest share of customers comes through pay TV services. So let's see, Altice USA, not familiar, Starhub, 
Um, in Singapore, Mexico's Total Play and providers across the Caribbean, yeah. India, Africa all pay Curiosity Stream a flat fee to include the programming in their packages. You know, it's so funny as we're reading this whole thing, right? You know, I was only thinking the United States. And yeah, it's, it's, I was. It's, I was it's too. so funny when you right. think it's the world, man. You know what I mean? So. Yeah. And they're saying, you know, there'll be a massive amount of carnage. There are at least 250 subscription video services. Some of them will shut down for economic reasons, others because they don't fit into bigger companies' broader strategies. 250, and it would make sense. There's a lot of content providers out there, man. Oh, that, yeah. You know, you can, um, BBC has one I see advertised all the time on uh, Bloomberg and so forth. I want, a, I want that guy, maybe I should... See if I can interview him. I want that guy from the DNA from Harvard that was on 60 Minutes. Okay. I haven't watched it yet. I yeah. pulled it up. I Googled it yesterday. I'm going to watch yeah. that, that clip that's... about the genetics. Uh, exactly. And that is funny. Kind of, that's probably a, a topic, at least, that would fit with Discovery, Curiosity Stream, genetics, science. Learning. Yeah. Right. Real learning. Definitely. You know, I mean, kind of a cool place to learn where you can basically sit at home, <laughs> sit at work. Yeah. You, it's you fascinating just, stuff. Yeah. You know, and it's real. That's right. <laughs> you know. Totally. Exxon, let's go take a look at Exxon. So, well, we'll first look at oil. Okay, so oil is laying right at this 60, well, 59 bucks. But, you know, the bottom line is that it got over its consolidation, but just barely. You know, it just kind of. Oil's had some volatility in both directions it has, today. You know, like that 58.74. Every yep. time it got up there, it's having a hard time. But yep. it's hanging up there now, man. I mean, yeah. it looks like that. 61 wants to get hit, 61.48. And if you remember, though, just to put it in context every time, this is when those oil fields got attacked yes. over in um, Saudi. Saudi Arabia. And it actually spiked overnight to like $65. And that was a very, very brief stay that it had over oh, that $60. Yeah. So to go back into where, and, and look at this even, you know, you go back to July, and it was brief as well, man. You made it over, but $60.26, $60.13. 6024, you're talking about three days you were over it and you're back. And then the only other time it's been over that 60 price point was when the market somehow thought there would be a risk premium when the fields in Saudi Arabia are getting attacked by drones and blown right. up. And the market said, no, we're not worried about that. Right. Now, if we go to ExxonMobil, you're going to see it's already given it up on price. I mean, it's that, that's saying that, guess what? You know, the, the oil market is not going to be able to crack this uh, $60 level. You know, yeah. You go up to, you didn't even get up to the higher swing. The highest swing is like 73 or 75. We got up to uh, $70.15 today, and it can't handle that price. Let me look at Chevron. It's pretty amazing, actually, when you look at it. It's yeah. Like, I mean, maybe some of the investors there are a little more forward-looking than the price of yeah. oil right now, right? And, um, and maybe that has to do, I always keep thinking, what's going to happen with the price of oil now that the Saudi Aramco IPO is completely out? Yeah. They're going to have to keep it propped up, I imagine, for a bit of time, but not really when, you know, the investors they got in there are all huge Saudi nationals themselves, it seems, that are pretty incentivized to not be selling that stock anytime soon. Yeah, they won't let them. To, to right. put it lightly. Exactly. 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 Well, you know what's intriguing there? So watch. Imagine that if they could, if they could hold back the oil and drive the price of the stock up and then dribble a little of the stock out, they'd be making money like that, too. Right? Pitch and dribble, uh, yeah, you mean release, selling yeah. more shares to yeah. the public? shaking them down more. Like, yeah. You know, yeah. It's, yeah. It's not a long-term plan, but I the think... bottom line is that, you know, there's, there's bread there to be They had, could. Sure. I think they really just like to not even offer out more shares, because you offer out more shares, and it's going to be tougher to control the market in the future and manipulate it, which I think was what they want to do, right? So they probably yeah. like that there's a small float out there oh, that yeah. they can push it around and that they can just tell their own nationals, buy it, never sell it. Nobody, you know, there won't yeah. be enough sellers to push it down. And they have a valuation now that they get to go borrow against, that right. they're going to call That's right. uh, a free mark-to-market analysis of the equity of their shares of, you know, the 98% of the company that the state owns. Right. And they'll just go borrow against it if they really want to because they'll get to borrow against it at an elevated value as opposed to if you just go to the market. And so, good terms. Yeah. 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 So because that's the collateral. Yeah. Exactly. There's, there's, there's no doubt. There's no doubt. Yeah. XAUHUI. Let's go take a look at the uh, XAUHUI. XAU right now we're trading out at 94.44. Now let's see. I want to see how we came down yesterday. So... Okay, so you did 27 million, 
Going into 27, interesting. So, just about the same. That doesn't tell us much. We go into the Gold Bugs Index, more than likely it's gonna be the same. They like trading the same. And, oh, I like what the Gold Bugs Index is doing today. The Gold Bugs Index right now is rejecting lower price. So we did 19 million, oh, going to 26. That's Gold Bugs Index is saying gold's going higher. Stay right there, folks. Tommy and I come right back. I'm certain you are or strive to be one of the best of the best at everything you do in life. It's the most common trait that we tigers and tigresses share. If you're looking to become the best of the best when it comes to managing your money, let me teach you to do what most wealth managers tell you can't be done, which is how to time the markets. I'm Steve Rhodes, author of Mastering Probability, and for the last 12 months, Timer Digest has been tracking my newsletter signals, which have earned me the ranking as their number one market timer in the nation for the S&P 500 for the last 12 six and three months timer digest also ranks me as the number one market timer for gold as well the fact is markets can be timed and i'll teach you the exact set of tools that i use that has transformed me into one of the best at what i do sign up for mastering probability today by clicking on the newsletter tab on the homepage of tfnn.com and get immediate access to workshops where i take you step by step how to use an extraordinary set of tools as well as provide great market calls too. sign up today if you're a trader in the market looking for exposure to gold or gold mining equities, then now is a perfect time to sign up for Tom O'Brien's Gold Report. The summer is over, gold is trading back above $1,500, and the 10-year treasury is hovering at around 1.5%. Tom O'Brien has been writing his weekly gold report for almost 18 years. There's no one that knows more about how the gold market trades and how gold mining equities react. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to lose. Every Monday morning, Tom publishes his weekly gold report with coverage of gold, silver, bonds, the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, as well as more than 30 different mining equities. As of September 3rd, Gold Report subscribers have five active open positions with an average unrealized profit of almost 38% for each position. To see for yourself the types of profitable trades that are recommended within the Gold Report, sign up today by visiting TFNN.com. Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now, you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow is up two. Nasdaq up 17. S&P is up four. And folks, as you come over to our website at TFNN, you are going to see our Tiger Dollar sale happening. You can get up to a 40% bonus. Uh, we started it yesterday. We go till December 22nd. Right? That's right. To basically two weeks. We started it yesterday. It runs for two weeks. It'll end Sunday, December 22nd. Get them in there before that holiday season starts so you can get up to a 40% bonus normally. The maximums are 20%. You get a 10, 15, or 20% bonus. We've doubled all the bonuses. So now you get a 20% bonus. You spend 500, you get 600 Tiger Dollars. Or you get a 30% bonus. You spend 1,000, you get 1,300 Tiger Dollars, a $300 bonus. Or you spend 1,500, you get a 40% bonus, 600 Tiger Dollars added to that purchase. You end up with 2,100 Tiger Dollars. All of these, the new system, say new, last year and a half, since so the new right. website, Quick. you apply them right to your account page. Any subscriptions you have automatically, you know, the next month's newsletter service, yeah. whether it's Gold Report, whether it's 
uh, Fibonacci 24 7, okay. right? Oh, they yeah. automatically are debited. You can put it in there for a six month, automatically debited. You apply it once to your account, and they're in there forever, no matter what you purchase. Current subscribers, great deal. Anybody thinking about signing up for a newsletter, workshop, webinar, service, uh, test profile scanner, the art of time and the trade charts, all of that. So check it out. We only do a couple. A couple I years. almost hesitate to say a couple because sometimes we, we just do right. one this big. Right. Um, so it's a special sale. 40%, man, that really cuts down the savings on newsletters. So check it out on the front page of TFNN.com. Only through December 22nd. Today's the 10th. 10th. 12 December days, 10th. that's over. And 15 days is Christmas, man. Ho, ho, ho. That's right. Get ready. Stay right there. We got uh, TD Ameritrade Think of Swim coming up next. I'm Mr. Kevin Hinks. I'm Ann Basil Chapman. Oh, and Basil, tonight, folks, uh, uh, 7.30. 6, okay. 6.30. 6.30 MIT. Okay. Uh, he'll talk about it when he comes on. Steve Rose, Dave, I'll be back. Perfect. Thanks, Thanks man. Real. Look at him, folks.